Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4 to Sweden. Going for the Lion of the North achievement here. Um, I want to thank you guys for your awesome support on the first episode. It was truly awesome. Very motivating. You guys rock. Uh, if you want to try to match that, show your support, leave a like on this one, as well as subscribe if you would like to see more of what we've got going on here. Like I said in the last one, we have a Discord as well as a Patreon for the channel, so if you want to check out those out, check those out they're linked in the description. But let's get into our campaign here. So as far as points goes, I talked to a few people, and some people actually do argue that innovative and offensive would be a super, or innovative and um, quality would be a really good group to take, which is actually funny because in our Mewar Never Changes campaign, we took innovative and quantity quality as our first two to get that extra 20% uh, cavalry infantry combat ability down there at the bottom the modern firearm techniques Com combined with this combined with our 20% built into our ideas you're looking at 50 infantry combat ability which is legitimately insane um, so it's a thought I'm not sold on it but I'm strongly considering it um, Let's see. And even if I don't go innovative, I'm going to go economic. So those are my top two choices. So I think it makes sense for us to um, put the money in. We need... I think we just put the money into this guy. Booster stab one. Focus admin. And uh, just speed five it for a minute and try to recover a bit. So Lithuania wants a royal marriage. Uh, he's not junior partner, so I suppose he's a strong candidate to have a uh, royal marriage with. So let's actually royal marry you as well. As far as this stuff goes, our maintenance is good. It's going to pay off some of our debts. Still have 180 debt. Um, as far as attacks go, I don't think we really have anything we can be doing here. We need to get this one at peace. Oh, right. We're at war with uh, these guys still. Because <laughs> England is getting... I bet he's got a lot of war exhaustion, too. <laughs> he's got... <laughs> what? Nobody's even landed on mainland England, or mainland Britain, and he's still... Um, he's still got lots of war exhaustion from that. That's so funny. I love that. Um, we probably should get to work here, building these up. We have nine years, so I think it's probably best to pay our debt off first. We're still reinforcing seven men a month. We should probably do a little bit more than that. Yeah. We have all our forts turned off. So I honestly, I think we do. Oh my gosh. What an early Duke of Burgundy dying. Burgundian inheritance goes to Austria. Well, hey, Austria. I would like to be your friend. I am a good guy and I am good to be friends with here. Um, in what? What am I looking for? Relations. Here you go. And then... That means we can now click this button, which will give us some claims, which uh, gives us reason to take some clay. So wait a minute. This is a core, but I just got permanent claim on this area. Interesting. It's fine. Uh, this is always a pain in the booty, because we're going to have to um, land men over there, which is just such a pain in the tuchus. So we will rival Denmark, Novgorod, and the Livonians. It's fine. We can actually build some spy network on the Livonians because we're going to end up wanting to attack them if we want to get our Sweden is not overpowered achievement. So let me see here. Where is that at? Sweden. So if you click over here, you'll see we need all of this. So it's going to be a while. Um, obviously, we're going to have to pick and choose our wars, but eventually we'll get this and it'll be fine. It's We're going to get all this stuff in our next war tentatively. Um, so, all good man, Saul Goodman. So, next month we can repay another one. There we go. Hmm. Oh, wow, that's very quick. Okay. Um, England is still at war with the Hundred Years' War. So funny. I love that. Um,. And who could we try to PU? On halt, Milan, Leinster, Aragon, maybe. Nah, not worth. Portugal. So, doesn't look like anybody's going to be a good choice. 
Too many diplomatic reputations. I definitely need the money. And then I'll turn around and I'll immediately spend it on some uh, morale of armies and army tradition and prestige. Sounds good. As far as this goes, uh, we could probably get the large city, but I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. Um, we're going to need most of the points we have. Discover America, probably not. Control centers of trade we'll be able to possibly get in the next war. Why does it say we only have one? Oh, level two centers of trade. Hmm. Yeah, maybe not. We could do three right here. Four, five. Uh, we might not very much, we very well may not get much splendor in this age. Um, the three thrones definitely not gonna happen. We'll get this one eventually and we can hum humiliate our rival. Might do that with uh, Novgorod here. Got no allies except for Odiev, who I don't care at all about. So let's actually turn that on. Um, and turn our army maintenance up about... Can we turn up all the way? Yeah, we can. So let's do that. Um, yeah, free. Free spy network. I will certainly take it. We will go for Reval and... Uh, yeah, we get a couple more. There's a fort here. So this is why I always like to give that one preference so as far as our force limit goes we're we're close enough to it that I think we're good um, as far as his army goes oh we're good we're good we can totally declare this war humiliate rival and we're gonna go but down to speed four just because there's literally no reason why we should do that we are going to uh get a um a general let's name it after my my patron classified for life he's uh you know got a lot of pips kind of not the allocation i was going for but that's fine maneuver is helpful helps with reinforcing when you're in hostile territory so i'll take that um I could base race him if I wanted to, but I kind of don't want to. Mm. Get you guys joined up over here. If he really wants to run all the way down there, it's going to be annoying, but we do have six maneuver to his one, so it shouldn't be too bad catching up to him. So we'll be able to get there in about a month. Yeah, yeah it's fine, because we'll be able to corner him and uh, track him down. Hopefully he won't be able to re retreat that far, right? No, oh, come on. What? Just canceled my movement. Kind of dumb. Um, so let's see here. Wait till these guys are locked in over here. Little two stack there. Very good. Get some free kills. Okay, let's come down here and see if we can beat up on this guy. If we can right wipe that stack out. We're we're totally so we're good. My fort setup is I not ideal, right? <laughs> but. We'll get it sorted out. Honestly, if I just had one fort up here, it would cover... No, uh, it wouldn't. I would need two forts. But that would cover this entire part of Scandinavia. Do we fight him in the hills? Um, It's not ideal, but I think we just do it. I think we stack wipe him. Yeah. Easy peasy. Um, we got the military might. We got Canute. Let's see if we can get a couple of kills over here. Stop those guys from landing. Oh, looks like they're gonna land. They landed anyways. That's fine. He has. They're all galleys, so might as well just keep them blockaded there. Yeah, we're probably gonna end up taking out another loan. But it is what it is, no big deal. 
Odiev. Odoy. Odoyev. I don't know how to pronounce Russian stuff. Or Slavic, I should say. You are going one up north, one down south. Hmm. Let's see if we can catch you guys. Perfect. This is ideal. Kill a couple of baddies. Very good. This cav stack is gonna come and stack wipe themselves on me. Ideal. Get you guys over here. Nope, that is not what I went to do there. So let's get uh, the cav over there. We're losing that, yeah. Let's get our guys over there. Our general. Oh no, we still got Canute, our two maneuver guy. So we lost two ships. Bummer. So as far as this one, we just want to humiliate, take all his money. That's fine, because that'll pay off most of our debts. <clears throat> and what kind of peace deal is that looking like? A lot, a big peace deal, but I think we can handle it. Um might have to send some men over there to track down the ODF army. So they're not going over there and, you know, devastating all my lands. You jerks. Working on my prosperity and they're over there putting it down. That's the last thing I want. So I think we might need to recruit another general. Let's go with... Um, uh, I don't have them all written down right now, all my patrons. So let's go with uh, Radu. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. You guys are heading up to Finnmark. I will gladly meet you up there. While we're sieging this one down. I'd rather not lose the manpower, but I also would rather not, you know, Diplo insult on Sweden or some... Uh, I mean, I guess I'll take the stuff. I'll benefit from having that. Um, get Knud off there. Can him. He's trash anyways. Can we catch him? 15th and... Th what? The 3rd of February? The 15th of March? Goodness gracious. That's a long time to walk from a tile to tile. Alright, so we took out another loan, but we stack wiped Odiev. He doesn't have any more men in my land, so... We're looking pretty good. <clears throat> Somehow they're like fielding a lot of men. I assume they're all mercs, right? No, none of them are mercs. So he's just slamming his manpower into that. I think I just hit. Uh, goodness gracious, I keep run clicking the wrong stuff. So I have a lot of war exhaustion. Don't want those rebels, but we might be okay. We'll see. So, you guys are going up to here. Let's see if I can stop your movement. Uh, they're already locked in. Well, just the three and a half stack right there. Which I should be able to stack white before these other guys reinforce, right? So then it's a defender across the river. In the woods. So, oh, no, they reinforced. Mm, took heavier losses than I would have liked, but that's okay. So let's march you guys down to Odiev gonna have to piece them out sooner or later uh, let us send a one stack up here we're more than likely gonna have to get pretty close to full occupying him before we're gonna be able to piece out Ugh, lots of manpower lost but it'll be worth it um, let's see if we can stack wipe you guys over here take a river crossing but should be a stack wipe no stack wipe jeez they're, uh, very tough, apparently. Novgorodians are tough. Alright, so let's get you guys over there. He's got a one, one province just randomly over here. Can you for now, so we're not taking too much losses financially. Okay. I feel like I don't need this entire nine stack down here. Come on now, you jerk. Really? 2nd of January. Feels bad, man. Yeah, that guy's dead. He's a goner. Odiev. Is 
Does Rudder have a siege pip? He does. Very good. So let's get this stack up here. Maybe we can get some occupied and besieged provinces. This little guy's gonna die. Might not get stack wiped though. No, I probably will. Yeah. You'll have that. War exhaustion is going up pretty fast, honestly. I need to be careful about that because we're gonna get rebels. Did not mean to take that fight. That is no good for me. I think we win it just because of that, but oh. Yeah. Not my best fight. So we have his capital, so we're gonna get ticking war score. It doesn't matter. Soroka. Now, ideally, we win this siege here. I have this guy down here just for occupied and besieged provinces. We we'll probably get our truce here piece we're looking for pretty soon. If I wanted to, I could just take less money, but I'm gonna take it all. I want it all, baby. Where's my money? Gonna end up having to pay it down, the war exhaustion, but it's fine. Now, if we could win that quicker than I'm thinking we're going to be, that would be really nice. So let's get you guys joined up, see if we can kill off a couple more of their men. Just don't have a big enough army to actually be covering- oh, perfect. So you are going to become a Catholic. Perfect, look at that. <laughs> Alright, um, so now we got him out, that means that we are basically done here. Let's march you all home. And then as soon as we can do that, we will, let's actually get a couple of these claims before we lose our ability to, because you get caught. His spies are dumb. Um, very good. Pay off all of our debt, I believe. Cut maintenance down nice and low. I think we're gonna have to Mm, I'm not gonna do anything quite yet. I am going to build a couple more of these guys. We're gonna need them. <clears throat> How many does Denmark have? Let's see here. Denmark has 17 galleys. Ugh. Goodness gracious. Well, yeah, that's not that's not too good. You guys are all black flagged, so let's get you up there. Well, that was good for us though, because we got our age age objective. And we have back up to three ducats a month coming in, so let's rehire our stab guy. Oh, sorry about that. Bumped my microphone. I have to scratch my neck. Right. Brandenburg, huh? He might be a good ally. Austria doesn't want to be my friend, so. I got room for a couple more. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can maybe get a... Um, Ulf Sax on his throne. Probably not, but you know. Worth trying, right? Noble from House Chodkid. Oh man, that's such a Polish name. Alright. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one. Our army is basically reinforced, so that's good. Okay, very good. And we just speed five it for a bit. Hopefully we don't get any rebels. The Norwegians might. Austria has formed a PU over uh, Hungary. Very good. That's gonna be a strong emperor then. <clears throat> HRA is always more interesting when you got a strong emperor, in my opinion. All right, we'll just speed five it, get a couple more claims on them. We are going to be able to take much clay when we attack them eventually. We could call Lithuania and we could probably attack them right now, but... And that's a big but. For now, I'm going to be focused on building up the galleys. We lost our one one guy. Um, is it going to be worth waiting on Renaissance? Certainly not. So let's take that. We are so behind on tech. Hmm. 
It may not fire. I mean, because the unrest is going down because of all of our uh, war exhaustions ticking down slowly. So, may not even fire. If it goes up to 90, I'll probably take it. Um, I'll take the prestige. So, we have high income, apparently. So, they have uh, annexed Holstein. Manpower is slowly popping up. Um, I'll take it. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's see here. So they got an heir. The oh, Hohenzollern. So both of his rivals are my allies. So that's good. Bummer. Got busted. That's fine. We got a claim on basically all of his... I think that actually is all of the claims we can get, so we're good. So Danzig is a vassal of Poland. You are truced until January of 59. So with that, we have a couple more months to get more ships. We're going to have to be smart about it, honestly. Denmark has allied Pomerania. So it's going to be more than likely. It's just going to be me... Lithuania? I assume I can get Lithuania in. Fighting in another war. Truce. So they would accept right now if the conditions were correct. Hmm. I'm not going to owe them the truth. The, uh, they're not going to owe me favors though. So we might not be able to quite attack Denmark right off the bat, but maybe we will. We'll see. Realistically, we just don't have enough men in the field where we would be able to uh, to do that. So let's actually mothball you guys for now. Save a couple extra ducats. Austria is now Pope Man. Pope Man controller. Tiver. They would pay a decent amount of monies. Um, I don't think I would be able to get my guys black flagged. Let's see here. Yeah. That's not, that won't work. Just speed five in it. Okay, Reich's reform. Reich's reform. Very good. Uh, so we need 17 and we're up to 11. So it's uh it's possible we're definitely going to have to go over our limit for it and we're also going to build up to our limit. I'm not sure. I think we can probably start drilling the army. I think it's probably worth <clears throat> Who do we want to drill? Probably Radu. He's got the extra shock, so The war reps are juicy. And we're going to have them for a long time. Yeah, for another 10 years, we're going to have the war reps, so. Let's do that. Re-up that alliance there. All right. Cool. Well, I think that's a good place to end it. There is a bit of a null here. A lull, I should say. Yeah. Anyways, if you guys are enjoying the series and you're excited to see some more of this, please show your support and leave a like. Help us out in the YouTube YouTube algorithm. English. Uh, if you want to see some more of this, don't forget to subscribe. And if you ding the bell, it'll send you a notification every time we upload. And uh, also, if you want to check out the Discord or if you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, the links for both of those is going to be in the description down below. And with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. I'd like to give a big special shout out to Corbett Gaming, Classified for Life, Radu the Beautiful, Lemongrass Bob, Bloodbound92, Minor Joe, and Lambda Driver for your guys' awesome support on Patreon. I encourage you guys to check out a couple of the playlists I got listed over there on the right and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys soon.